So we getting a rise in the fact that Christians say they say that they believe in and follow Jesus, yet they don't. What is, what's happening is, is they're being deceived. And this is why God tells you it's important to have discernment, to set your minds on the things of the spirit and not, not set your minds on the fleshly things. You can quickly be deceived. I remember when I first came to Christ, right? I believe in new age spirituality and a lot of the things that align with new age spirituality align with Christ. Why is that? What does the devil do? He comes to seek and destroy, right? He's not going to come with his horns on top of his head and, and, and stick out. But what he does is he deceives the body, the body of Christ, the body of believers. And he uses certain things within Christianity because those are the things of the truth. Those are the things of God. And he flips them or he twists them just a little bit to make them look like these are things that are for you. And these are things that fit within the body. But really, you're being deceived. You listen to your favorite pastor sermons. You listen to your favorite YouTube or video and they're talking about the chakras, yet they've said something about the scriptures. It doesn't align for you to say something about semen retention and, and, and not mention that it's not semen retention. But what it is, is you abstaining from fleshy desires and submitting yourself to God. It's two different things to say. Semen retention means that I'm relying on myself instead of relying on what God has given me two different routes. But what it is, is I've used different terminology. I've used something that is of God and I perverted it to be slightly different and say, hey, you can do it on your own. So in, in these times that we're living in as Christians, this is why it's important to live in your word and to stay in your word and to pray without season because you can be deceived. A lot of people in today's Christianity world, they, they think of the chakras and alignment. And if I hear something that me with the discernment that I do have and God's still working on me, right? If I do hear things that are not of God, automatically the Holy Spirit is, is is hitting me inside. If I click on a video and I'm scrolling on the video and I hear something that is not of God, like semen retention, it's not of God. I don't care what you want to say. It's not of God. What what they should stay and say instead, because we live our life according to the scriptures. Romans chapter eight, verse five through eight. It says those who live according to the flesh have set their minds on the things of the flesh. But those who live according to the spirit set their minds on the things of the spirit to live according to the flesh is life and live according to the spirit is death. It's very simple. If you set your minds on the thing of God, then you will be living in God's will. If you set your minds on the things of the flesh, then you will be living departed from God, which is death. It's not that hard to to. To, to understand that God has a will for your life. But if we if we mix new age, which is appealing to the to, to the younger generation, if we mix that in with the body, we would be deceived. Because if you click on every semen retention video, right? I want you to do that. If you're a man or you're a woman and you're practicing with that 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 part of sin, click on that video. <clears throat> click on that person's video and see they fall short. They never been delivered because what they did is they they never follow what God had for them. But instead, they followed the new age practice. The new age practices, you can abstain from it and you can continue to fight it off. But it was without God. It's without the power that the Holy Spirit gives you. It's called deliverance. So if you never fight off the flesh. And live in the spirit, then you're going to fall short. And what happens is when you click on those person's videos, they say, oh, man, 30 days in, I fell short. They were relying on self versus if you look at the Christian, he's going to tell you in Romans 8 verse 5, it says this. So do not be deceived because you have itch and ears and you want to hear what is pleasurable to you instead of saying, hey, I have to submit. I got to submit to God. There's no other way around it. New way spirituality is just using the things of God and perverting them or twisting them. We got to cut it out. We cannot be deceived. And if I feel like tarot card reading is something that fits in with God and saying, hey, these are the spiritual gifts that God has given me. Well, read Leviticus. Look at this. In Leviticus, it says in Leviticus 1931, do not turn to mediums or seek out spiritists, for you will be defiled by them. I am the Lord, your God. And what a lot of people will say, oh, well, that's just the Levitical law. Jesus fulfilled the law. Oh, well, in Revelations twenty two fifteen, this is at the end of times, right? 
It says, outside are the dogs, those who practice magic arts, the sexual immoral, the murderers, the idolaters, and everyone who loves and practices falsehood. So it's no excuse, right? As believers, we got to stop saying, you know what? I want to fit in with the world. You have to be set apart from the world. There was no other way that you will inherit the kingdom of God unless you continue to kill off your flesh. You have been saved by God's grace. So it's time to live it out. It's time to live it out. If I'm spending time in God's presence, then I should know that semen retention and tarot card readings is not of God. The Holy Spirit should automatically be convicting you that this is not of God. When I go into certain atmospheres and when I listen to certain sermons, I know that this is not of God. When I click on a YouTube video and I'm listening to it and he said that he's Christian, yet he mentioned semen retention and he, and he only mentioned one Bible verse, but they didn't align with each other. They feel like they were com conflicting against each other or contradiction. I know God is not the author of the confusion here, so I know it has to be the other side. It's discernment. Brothers and sisters, it's discernment. There's no other way around it. In Colossians 3, 5, it says, put to death. Therefore, whatever belongs to your earthly nature, sexual immorality, impurity, lust, evil desires and greed, which is idolatry. God is saying, put to death those things. Not not continue to just fight them off and put them put them behind this door. That's what similar retention is. It's saying, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm going to rely on these chakras. I'm going to rely on everything else, but rely, but rely on the power that God's given me. God's saying, put to death the old you, the old woman, the old man, the old lust, the old desires. Put to death all of those things, because what that does is in your life, that becomes the idol in your life over me. So if you click on a senior retention video, they might not be coming from a bad point or a bad heart, right? But if they're not quoting scripture or if they're not saying this is what God says in his word, then I have to question it. The Holy Spirit should be telling you immediately, this is not of God. It's not of God. And you can call it being legalistic. You can call it being religious. But if we believe that the scriptures are true, then what else do we need? We don't need your favorite YouTuber talking about his, his chakras. Or her chakras. If I hear you talking about your vibration and a low vibration person and a high vibration person, it's not of God. I don't care if you say you Christian. I don't care if you say you Catholic. It is not of God. Nowhere in the scripture does it talk about a low vibration person and a high vibration person. It talks about the person who moves in the spirit and the person who moves in the flesh. And it talks about a person who bears good fruit and bears bad fruit. But what it is, is they have perverted the words of God and made it sound appealing to the new generation. It's compromising the word of God or 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 taking out the word of God, using the things of God, twisting them to appeal to who it wants to appeal to. So it's time we wake up as people, as believers, and we realize that. We realize that we cannot continue to be deceived, right? If you're struggling with something. Crack open your Bible. There's too many resources out here for us as believers to feel as though we have to indulge in things that are not of God. God's Holy Spirit will speak to you. It will continue to guide you. He guides you in everything that you do. When you when you feel as though he's not there, he's always there near you. So there is no reason why, if you are truly seeking God, that you will not find him. Knock and the door will be open. Seek and you will find. Continue to seek out God with your whole heart, with a, with, a, with a perfect heart posture or a good heart posture. And watch what God does in your life. If you if you are battling with lust or you're battling with sexual immorality or you are battling, battling with, uh, with things that are contrary to what God wants you to live in your life. Homosexuality. Adultery. If you are battling those things, seek God. Don't seek the world's things that they tell you to do, but seek God and what God has for you. And he will answer the prayers and it might not be what you want, but he will answer the prayers and he will straighten out your path. Man, I pray this message helps somebody. I don't come here to condemn. I'm no pastor. I'm no preacher, but I love the Lord and I don't want his people and his body to be deceived in these last days. It cannot happen. 
But instead, what we should do is we should rise up and we should realize that we are against a threat and that we have to remain strong and we have to keep the body together as one to continue to endure, to hold each other accountable and to continue to move in the spirit. So I pray this message helps you in Jesus name.